सो नाउ आर बी सॉल्विंग द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ कोर्ट वर्स इज राउंड सेवन एटी सेवन सो नेम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज मेक इट मेक इट इंक्रीजिंग इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवेन एन एरे ऑफ नंबर्स एंड वी नीड टू वी नीड टू मेक द एरे स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग बाई फॉलोइंग द गिवेन स्टेप्स सो इन बाई फॉलोइंग द गिवेन ऑपरेशन सो इन अ गिवेन ऑपरेशन वट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन डिवाइड द प्रजेंट एनी ऑफ द नंबर्स एनी ऑफ द नंबर अ सिंगल नंबर बाई टू सो इफ इफ वी हैव दिस एरे वी कैन डिवाइड एनी नंबर एंड वील ट्राई टू मेक इट डिवाइड एनी नंबर बाई टू एंड ट्राई टू मेक इट स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग ऑल्सो द डिविजन इज राउंडेड डाउन बाई विच आई मीन दैट इफ फाइव इज डिवाइड बाई टू देन वील हैव टू एज द आउटपुट ऑफ आर ऑपरेशन ओके सो I'll try to explain you with the first example. So we have three, six, and five. So decreasing five has no advantage. So what we'll do is we'll leave five as it is, and then we'll uh, traverse in the reverse direction. So what we need to do is we need to make six less than five in order to make it increasing. So we'll divide it by two, and we'll get three. So it will become. Three and five, three, three and five. Okay. In the next step, we'll move to the previous element. So in this way, we are traversing the array in reverse direction. So now we'll we'll try to make this three less than the next number. So for that, we'll divide three by one by two. So we'll have one, three and five. Therefore, then the array becomes. strictly increasing in two steps okay so here are the steps that we need to follow in order to obtain the solution so initially what we'll do is we'll not touch the last number we'll leave it as it is because decreasing the last number or applying the operation on the last number has no advantage and then we'll traverse the whole array in the reverse direction now we'll try to make the current number smaller than the next number if it is possible then we'll make it smaller otherwise if it's not possible then we'll print minus 1 and break out of the loop now we'll continue this procedure until we reach the first element and if uh, it is possible to make it increasing strictly increasing then we'll print uh, the number of steps so it's very simple we'll take the test cases we given a vector we'll take the input and the vector we need to find the steps total number of steps so what we'll do is we'll traverse from the second last element in the array now we'll continue the loop until the current el element is greater than equals to the next element also if the current number becomes zero then we'll break out of the loop so we'll divide it by 2 and we'll count the number of steps now if the current number even after the steps are performed is either greater or equals to v of i plus 1 which by which i mean the next element so if uh, the current element after the steps is greater than equals to the current num uh, the next number then of course it is not possible to make the array strictly increasing so we'll break out of the loop otherwise we'll continue it until we reach the first element so now i'll test the uh, program on the sample test cases
so the code is working on the test cases so i'll try to submit the code so the code is accepted 